there's a supplement that that's kind of esoteric. Now, a lot of people have never heard of it, uh, but it's being pushed uh, in some circles as a uh, great health supplement. Supplement. It's called Geranol Geraniol. Geranol Geraniol. Uh, it's a little bit, very hard to spell, very hard to pronounce. I'm going to just call it GG, but it's Geranol Geraniol. Now, Geranol Geraniol is involved in, uh, it's produced in a process in the liver called the mevalonate pathway. This is the same pathway that produces cholesterol, and from cholesterol you have steroid hormones such as testosterone, estrogen, cortisol, all of those. Uh, you might have heard of statin drugs. Statin drugs are among the most common drugs that physicians prescribe to treat elevated lipids or help prevent cardiovascular disease. Uh, now, the way statin dr uh, drugs work are that they inhibit the rate-limiting enzyme. In other words, this is the main enzyme that produces cholesterol in the liver. It's called HMG-CoA reductase. And what happens when you take steroid, I mean, when you take statins, the statins inhibit this enzyme. But unfortunately, it, uh, it, it interferes uh, when you inhibit that particular enzyme. You're interfering with the mevenolate pathway, which also produces a number of other essential products, including coenzyme Q10, uh, of, uh, uh, the natural form of vitamin K called MK4, all of these things are, are inhibited, especially coenzyme Q10, when you inhibit HMCOA reductase through using statin drugs. And it turns out that this stuff called Gerana, I can't even remember how to pronounce it, GG, I'm going to call it for short, that it can actually overcome that effect uh, because one of the main side effects of statin drugs is muscle problems, excessive muscle breakdown, muscle pain. Uh, now, more recent studies show that you're more likely to have these statin-related muscle side effects if you train very hard, very intensely. People who go to the gym and just do very moderate exercise, really, they don't train to failure, they don't lift heavy weights, uh, they can take statin drugs. They're very unlikely to have muscle-related statin uh, side effects, but if you do, uh, one cure is to take coenzyme Q10 itself. Uh, some sources say to take only 30 units. I think that's too too little. I think you need at least 100 milligrams or units, 100 milligrams a day of coenzyme Q10. Uh, or you could take this GG stuff. Uh, GG is involved itself in the uh, production of coenzyme Q10 in the liver. You know, and the liver produces cholesterol, produces coenzyme Q10. Uh, and it produces GG. Now, just like uh, with age, coenzyme Q10 production, uh, coenzyme Q10 is made from a, a, a raw material, the, the uh, amino acid L-tyrosine. Uh, but as you get older, your liver becomes less efficient at producing coenzyme Q10. And, and coincidentally, the people the, uh, the mo most likely to be on statin drugs are people that are over 40 years of age. So they're, you know, again, if they train, if they exercise, even if they run a lot, just hitting the ground, they can get that muscle problem related to statin drugs. And one way of treating it is uh, coenzyme Q10 or GG may be even more efficient. Uh, GG is a, a component for the uh, production of, of uh, MK4, which is a natural form of vitamin K produced in the, in the body. Uh, MK4 is used for the uh, enzymatic processing to transport calcium to bones. Well, removing calcium from uh, from uh, is obligatory for the endogenous synthesis of skeletal muscle proteins. In other words, um, GG plays a part in kind of acting um, to, it's hard to explain, kind of beef up the scaffold at which skeletal proteins are produced. The proteins function, uh, these, again, these functions, proteins as a scaffold or support structure for the shape and function of muscles. 40% of our body weight is muscle, of which half is skeletal muscle protein. This requires GG to regenerate muscle at all stages of life. In the young and energetic, that is 15 to 30 years of age, GG helps increase force production. And people over 40, GG helps to maintain muscle mass relative to body weight. 
In the elderly, that is over 65 years of age, with progressive muscle loss or sarcopenia, GG helps to resist such loss. It helps to prevent muscle-associated atrophy and increase uh, feelings of energy. This GG to muscle and biosynthetic, biosynthetic process is specific for skeletal muscle protein. One of GG's most basic tasks involves the making of proteins via, via a process known as prenation. Prenylation, I should say, prenylation. With prenylation uh, and during prenylation, GG attaches to a protein like a prosthetic arm, thereby enabling the protein to be made while attached to membranes. While 40% of the body's weight being is mostly skeletal protein that requires isoprenoid prenylation through the action, I know this is a little complex, through the action of GG, GG plays a vital role in keep, keeping us strong. In other words, GG is important for muscle. So that's probably why it might interest people involved in exercise. But it's most, mostly of interest to people who are using statin drugs because it apparently will block the effects of statin uh, in causing uh, myopathy or muscle problems. One animal study examined the effects of GG using a human equivalent dose of 170 milligrams a day on exertion muscles in young healthy rats. GG was able to avert skeletal muscle fatigue and increase muscle force production, suggesting enhanced exercise performance. On a vascular level, in other words, the arteries and veins, GG increased relaxation of muscular arteries, which might be connected to enhanced nitric oxide. GG might enhance nitric oxide production. Beyond exercise performance, GG has important implications for age-related muscle, muscle mass loss, known as sarcopenia. Uh, I mentioned that before. Uh, besides, uh, GG also seems to inhibit the atrogen-1 gene. Atrogen is a uh, catabolic substance that promotes the breakdown of muscles. GG was found to reduce atrogen 1, thereby preventing muscle fiber damage. <clears throat> GG enhanced testosterone and progesterone levels in, in, in certain cells by activating adenylate cyclase via CM, cyclic AMP signaling. Uh, basically, uh, what this means to put it simply is that some of the studies, particularly isolated cell studies, seem to indicate that GG might increase test low testosterone levels in men. Uh, it has been demonstrated, it also has demonstrated anti-inflammatory and anti-pain properties, and previous research has reported it to potentially improve bone health, help regulate glucose, muscle function, and digestive health. Now, where do you get GG? Uh, you can get it in foods, particularly edible oils. Olive oil, linseed oil, and, sap, and sunflower oil. Uh, th those are good sources of natural GG. It's also found in vegetables and grains, including rice, and it's produced naturally in the body, as I said, but production tends to decline as you get older. The most common reason for taking GG is, again, for the management of the side effects of statins. The dose of GG is usually 150 to 300 milligrams. It is available in supplement form. It's a fairly expensive supplement. I've seen prices range anywhere from $40 to $70. This is one supplement I haven't used myself, so I can't really testify as to whether it does anything. Uh, what, I've read, what I've just read to you is, uh, is the most uh, up-to-date research on GG. I think it's of limited use to most people. Uh, there, there's a couple of people that are pushing GG in various internet videos, particularly on YouTube. Uh, unfortunately, these people, or fortunately, whatever, depending on how you look at it, these people all have companies that produce GG, so they have an axe to grind. And whenever you're selling a supplement and you're presenting scientific information, you've got to take that with the usual, the old cliche, with a grain of salt, because they're, you know, they're out to make money, and they'll try and convince you that you need a supplement when, in fact, you might not actually need the supplement. And that's the case with GG. If you're using uh, typical oils, if you use, uh, let's say, extra virgin of olive oil, uh, the odds are you're getting more than enough GG. You don't have to take a supplement form. As I said, I don't use GG. I don't intend to. I don't use statin drugs. Thank God I, don't, I never had to use statin drugs. 
uh, you know, but uh, so it's it's a limited supplement. Uh, uh, and supposedly, there's some other research that indicates that it might. Oh God. Oh. That it, well, I just thought that my microphone might be disconnected. Anyway, uh, it might uh, also be useful for mitochondria, but I haven't seen a lot of evidence for that. There's other nutrients that are be more beneficial for mitochondria, such as PQQ, coins, MQ10 itself, uh, and, um, and and also uh, there's a su supplement called urolithin A, which uh, helps to regenerate mitochondria, which is much more superior to GG. For mitochondria. So that's about all I'm going to say about GG. Um, I'm not very impressed by it, as you could probably tell. Uh, but like I say, if you're using statin drugs and you're experiencing muscle pain, muscle problems, then it's a, it, be, it might be a good idea to try some GG, see if it helps. Supposedly, it completely abolishes the muscle side effects related to statin drug use. So that's about it for this topic. If you want more information on nutrition, exercise science, anti-aging research, uh, women's health and fitness, supplement science, which ones work, which ones don't. Um, anti, did I say anti-aging anti research? Anti ergogenic aids, hormone therapy. All of this is covered in my Applied Metabolics publication at www.appliedmetabolics.com. Uh, it's about 20 to, uh, to 40 pages every month. It comes out on the first of every month. It has no advertisements. I am not associated with any supplement company. I'm not going to try and push any supplements uh, on you. I'm just going to give you evidence-based information that includes my over 60 years of constant study and experience. So subscribe today. When you subscribe, send me an email, and I'll send you an invitation to join my private Applied Metabolic Facebook page, where each day I post new information on nutrition, exercise science, and general health and medicine. I have an email portal on my Applied Metabolics uh, web page where current subscribers only can send me short questions about anything they've read in Applied Metabolics or anything that they're curious about related to exercise and nutrition and I will answer their questions in appreciation for their subscription kind of as a bonus of their subscription. And this only applies to current subscribers. I don't answer unsolicited questions. I think that's about it for this video. I hope my microphone I know I I'm seem I'm seem like I'm getting a little brain fog because According to what I'm seeing, my microphone might be turned off. So if you get this video, that means that the bike microphone was on, it's, but it's not my main microphone. It's going to be the, uh, you know, this webcam microphone, which isn't as good, but hopefully you'll be able to hear this video. So uh, take care. If you want to have the best, oh, by the way, if you like my videos, uh, please uh, feel free to subscribe. They're totally free. I post a new video every Tuesday. Maybe you could say you like the video. I think there's a little check mark or something you put there. Uh, and please tell others about my channel. Also, I'm trying to grow this channel. Uh, so thank you for listening. If you want to have the best one you'll ever have, go to your local shelter and adopt a dog.